There's two things I guarantee I always have loaded. My pistol and my Swiffer. Hey guys, it's Izzy from Endless RV and the channel that brings you the best in RV DIYs, product reviews, RV tours, and so much more. In this video, we're gonna be showing you exactly how we keep the inside of our motor home immaculate. So if you're new to the channel, we invite you to subscribe and let's get right into it. Behind me here are the few products, or many products, depending what you think about it, what we use to keep the inside of this interior super clean. We have a Swiffer, a vacuum, so 303 protectant, stainless steel cleaner, glass cleaner, sink cleaner, simple green, uh, disinfecting wipes, Lysol toilet cleaner, and microfiber towels. And then we're gonna show you exactly what the use is for each and how we use it in the inside. Hey guys, MJ here. It's really windy today, so sorry for the noise and the, the hair in the face. So our clean routine is going to start outside. Now this is all, um, some people may think it's extreme, but we really do keep the inside of our RV clean by doing all this. This is Izzy's kind of American Psycho, if you've seen that movie, uh, routine that we follow, but it works. So the first thing is always take our shoes off. All right, so take the shoes off. We have Camco step covers that we have here, which help to keep, uh, you know, the dirt at bay. All right, so shoes come off. We walk in. Okay, so before we even get in, if we have the dogs and we've taken them for a walk, we we'll use a microfiber towel or have other towels here. All the paws get wiped off, then we let them on. We also have a mat here that we wipe our socks on. <laughs> but it, again, it just helps keep, if somebody does come on with their shoes, they can wipe their feet here. Okay, so we're gonna start with the front, the dashboard, okay? This is gonna get the most exposure to UV rays. Even with this shade down, the front of the dash is still gonna get hit with UV rays. So we do two things, right? Now we're doing it kind of like the uh, poor man's way. I just throw some old blankets on here. That stays on there when we're in storage. Shades are always down. Keep the UV rays out. However, when we are driving, obviously we can't do that. So how I keep the dash clean, 303 protectant. If anybody owns an RV, they are, will be familiar with this stuff. It's uh, used on vinyl, it gives a UV protection and it does the cleaning. So microfiber towels, guys, if you don't have these, you gotta buy some, we'll link them below. These are absolutely essential because they won't scratch anything, all right? So I'm just gonna spray a light mist on the dash. I'm gonna work it in, all right? And I'm gonna flip over, and that's it. That's it, okay? Keeps everything clean, uh, repels dust, keeps it protected from the UV rays. Super easy, just do that like every three, four weeks. Guys, the other uses for the 303 protectant is not only for your dashboard, you could use it on all plastic, you could use it on the uh, the rubber ceilings, on your window, seals on your windows, on your uh, upholstery, on your furniture, you could do it all with that. So this stuff, you know, it's not super cheap. I think this is like 16 bucks, but it lasts a long time and it's really, uh, really good stuff to use. All right, as Izzy said, this is kind of your best friend when cleaning. Um, so dusting is, is a big thing, right? You're gonna accumulate dust. If you're on here full time, obviously more than we would have it. If you have pets, that's of course gonna create more dirt and debris. So this you can really put anywhere. You can just moisten it with some water and just go to those places that you know are gonna accumulate dirt, all right? So on top, here's the valances. Um, up in these corners here is a good place, okay? There you go. That was a brand new uh, You're towel, slipping, right? Izzy. You're well, slipping. I haven't cleaned that. Ah. <laughs> uh, okay, um, and anywhere, you know, of course, above here, above here is gonna be a good one. Yeah, definitely above the slides, we'll, yeah. we'll get stuff. Yep, definitely, let's see how it looks. I think Izzy did that uh, a little bit, not too bad. Not too bad. Not too bad. And then anywhere else, guys, that you you know where dust is gonna accumulate here, you know, oh, you'll get the elevator. stuff there. I mean, and there you go, right? Yeah, you'll definitely this get stuff good. there. See, getting work done while we're, while we're <laughs> recording. Uh, yeah, so any of those places that are gonna accumulate dirt, again, you have pets, do it more frequently because it's gonna get dirtier. All right, guys, let's talk about uh, something that's really important. It's gonna be the filters on your AC ducts. Now, we talked about this on another video uh, regarding the checklist that you wanna check preseason. We'll link that above, but 
basically how it works in our motorhome this is sucking in air okay it's going through the system getting heated and then it's pushing it out through here so the ones that are sucking in air they're going to have these foam filters and these are pretty clean because i just cleaned them but you want to take these out about once a month and you just wash them just wash them get the dust out of there you want your hvac system breathing clean air you don't want crap uh, building up in there super simple it, literally for us it probably takes 10 minutes to do them all the more you're using it the more you want to do it but definitely at least once a month you want to clean all the uh, ac filters all right the next thing you don't want to do is you're going to want to clean all your smoke detectors co detectors propane detectors what i mean is just you know go get in there maybe get a little bit of can of uh, compressed air these are very clean because i just cleaned them you just don't want these sensors to be full of dust because uh that may allow them to malfunction okay so make sure these are all clean this you could do once a season not a big deal so uh, pre-covid 19 these were equally as important right disinfecting wipes i mean now they're even more so important um and we had gotten months ago before everything started with the coronavirus we had stocked up on these which we showed in a previous video but um we have a bunch of we have clorox we have these and we have a quite a few of them because we do go through them a lot we use these to clean whenever we eat whenever we cook we clean the countertops with these very simple all right so we're going to take one it's just really simple all right the, the important thing is guys after you do this just let it air dry so this way it's really getting a better clean that way all right you don't want just don't dry it all right, moving uh, back in the coach, we're gonna talk about the sink now. Now we have stainless steel sink as well as like the faucet. And these things can get a little, you know, grimy over time. If you look on the left, I kind of cleaned this one already. Uh, you can hear that wind's going crazy out there. <laughs> um, the one on the right is not so much as deep clean. So I'm gonna save that live for you to show you exactly how we can do it. So first, let me just show you how I keep the um, faucet clean here, right? I just use this stuff, Wellman stainless steel cleaner this is really great on the refrigerator we have a stainless steel fridge also i think it's my cover sorry it's wyman sorry wyman that's why mj is the author and i'm not you can get this at any big box store they, they have them right you're just going to spray a little bit on here a little mist and then again we come back to the microfiber towel and the reason why you want to use microfiber guys because it doesn't scratch uh paper towel sometimes cotton depending how hard it is can scratch and will scratch this stuff doesn't scratch that's why you're gonna see all the car detailers using microfiber towels. So look at, look you at know, the shine. It leaves a nice shine, super easy to use, all right? And I got a little extra spray here, so I'm gonna just wipe it up. Now, you can use this also on your stainless steel sink. You can do that. Sometimes, you know, you, you throw food in there and you cook it and whatever, it can get kind of nasty. So that's where this stuff, you know, sometimes you gotta step it up, right? You need more horsepower. Uh, you are going to use uh, Hope's Perfect Sink. Now, it's not perfect, but it works really well. And how this works, it's super simple. You just gonna shake it up a little bit. All right, you're gonna put a little bit on your microfiber towel again, right? Now, if you can look at, it's kind of a little nasty in here. We're just gonna rub this in, all right? It's like we're waxing the outside of the- Kind of, and you know, this just gets in there and kind of lifts any of the stains. Now, I'm gonna show you something. Like, you can see how gross that is right there. Uh, now, Sometimes, depending how dirty this is, it may take a couple of times. If you get this over here, you can see how that looks right there. Let me just turn the microfiber over. All right, now let's step back a little bit. And you see how it took that right out. So once you get the whole sink done, right, then you're just gonna rinse it with some warm water and dry it and you're good to go. And guys, you don't have to do this like every day. That would be crazy, but once a month, once every couple of months, once, you know, the stainless steel starts looking a little gross. Izzy would love to do it every day. If I had time, I would, but I don't. <laughs> so I'm going to finish this up. Ah, nice. Now watch when it's done. I don't know. I, I, we might should start like a um, RV detailing service. I think we would make Maybe a lot of money. Maybe retire. Yeah. We'd be too old by then, though. No, we won't. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay. So you could see the cloth, right, what it took out? Oof. So I'm just gonna rinse this real quick with some warm water. This also has like a repellent in it, like a water repellent, so they claim, All right? And then I'm just gonna take, you know, the clean side of this, flip it over. I just ruined my faucet, but it's okay. And then we're just gonna dry it. And you could see, you can see right here how those stains came out. Now, is it gonna, again, is it gonna come out perfect? You know, probably not. If, if I kept doing it over and over, it's probably gonna be as much as you 
as good as you want it to be. But I think that looks a hell of a lot better than it did before. You know, it just looks a lot better, guys. This is all, these motor homes, if anybody owns them, they know they're not cheap. You know, we take pride in this, right? We work really hard for what we have. I know I take pride in, in our home and whatever we have. So just something that we're just trying to share with you guys. All right. so. Back to our Wyman stainless steel cleaner. We use the same thing on the fridge. You're just gonna give it a little spritz, okay? Now, according to Izzy, OCD Izzy, you should go the way of the grain. Go there is a grain on the there. Grain. Don't go down, go the grain. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so it's gonna give it a nice shine. So that's what we use, same thing for the outside. I'm not gonna do the whole bottom now. So stain stainless steel looks awesome but it picks up fingerprints it and does. drives me insane. It, so it does. we have so, this, yeah. we got the same at home and you know, this is what we use. Yep. All right, our next product of choice is Simple Green. This is biodegradable. It's very cheap. It's available at most big box stores. And we use this on any of the plastic in here. We use glass cleaner, obviously on the shelves when things leak or drip or whatever, but real simple, you know, if something happens to, uh, to spray out and leak. Okay, this is gonna give you a nice clean I won't say shine, but a nice clean look. And then again, for you know your shelves it will accumulate gunk too. That's where we use the glass cleaner. All right, guys, the stove, the microwave. I'm not going to demonstrate how to do this, but basically we use the same thing. Let's steal cleaner. We actually do use the stove. We use it quite often, but it's clean because uh, right after we're done, I just wipe it down real quick with this. It's simple. It keeps everything clean. Same thing with the microwave, stainless steel. Spray it, wipe. You're good to go creeper all right <laughs> what is in my hand guys this is a squeegee okay and this will make your life actually a lot easier okay so you can see our bathroom there's no mold there's no nasties in it and we we do actually use this a lot we don't use the campground bathrooms we shower in here and i think we do the same thing at home the, the little secret is guys and it's really not a secret uh for you to get mold you need two things right you need uh moisture and you need time right so right after we shower very simple just take this squeegee squeegee everything out squeegee it down the drain take a, a, a secondary towel wipe everything down you won't ever have mold because you got rid of the moisture okay this squeegee super simple we'll put the link below there's a little suction cup hook here it just gets hooked right there and that's how we keep this clean now occasionally and I'm gonna tell you maybe every month and a half or so, because you don't have to do it, because this always stays clean. Simple green, I'll spray it, maybe with a, a sponge, you know, clean anything that might have accumulated, uh, soap grime. Remember, we don't have soap grime because we have this. So we have no <laughs> soap anywhere. Yeah, you see, you, you see the method to the madness? There is a, yeah, it's, so a, anyway, it's a sickness for Izzy. I'll spray everything <laughs> down wipe it down, just hose it out, and you're good to go. Uh, super easy to keep this clean, it, it's not a big deal. All right, now we're gonna talk about cleaning glass in your motorhome, and this is gonna be the same, whether it's exterior glass, interior. We don't have too much glass in here, we have a couple mirrors, and we got this mirror here, okay? So I use this Sprayway, just because it says it's the world's best glass cleaner. Not really, <laughs> uh, but this stuff does work good. It's actually like a foaming action, super simple. It actually smells good. It's ammonia free. You're just gonna spray, okay? You got a little foam action and then just, again, microfiber towel. You're gonna wipe. It does clean really well. Really well. A uh, little secret, right? This is, I don't know if they still do this, but the car detailers, they used to use newspaper back in the day. I don't know if they still do that. Andrew Steele, if you're listening. Yeah, newspaper <laughs> works really well to uh, clean glass, but look at that. Super easy finish, and it doesn't smell like that nasty uh, ammonia. Right, yeah. So good. yeah, we'll link this down below. All right, guys, how do we keep the pooper clean, right? And that's, you know, probably the grossest part, but I don't care. So the outside, it's, we have a porcelain toilet. We just use those uh, wipes that we showed you, the, uh, the Clorox wipes. So wipe it down, let it air dry. The inside, this is what I use, uh, household grade Lysol, Toilet bowl cleaner. It's gonna. I just want to open it first. A little bit there. All right. We keep a brush with us. This is not complicated, guys. Clean it up. Just like in your house. Just like in your house. Get to that little seal there. You don't want to rub it too hard. You don't want to mess up that rubber. And flush it down the toilet. 
and we're good to go. Uh, two things, guys. You always want to keep a little bit of water in your toilet, and the simple reason is the water acts as a barrier to keep smells out. Plus, it keeps that seal moist, and uh, you want you don't want the seal to dry out because then it won't work anymore. Second thing is this when we're when we're driving goes in the, in the bathtub so if it falls over it doesn't leak anything it goes down the drain all right so super simple keep your toilet nice and clean all right these two things are a very big part of our cleaning routine so we got a vacuum and a swiffer and this is something that um, when we're packing up camp and getting ready to use or to leave we're going to use all the time especially the swiffer the vacuum we, we use more frequently especially when the dogs are with us we vacuum a lot because bowser the white one sheds like a crazy crazy dog the swiffer um has a little bottle a solution that goes right in the back all right and it has the velcro pads that go right that go right on this we love this because this picks up a lot a lot of dirt all right you're gonna spray all right it sprays out the solution show me that again there you go okay, okay. and then you're just gonna mop it up all right so we'll go throughout the coach with this all right we'll do this every time like i said we're packing up camp or if, you know we happen to get dirt in there you know it's not um just for when we're leaving uh this does a great job of picking up dirt i don't think it's gonna be too dirty right now because yeah you see you don't think we keep well, our rv clean yeah a little bit right we got a little way well, we had cleans recently so um and these are easy they just rip right off you throw them out and then you can get you know they have uh just buy packs of the um, the refills. So this is really, really awesome. Vacuum just emptied all the dirt onto the oh, floor. You can so see we'll how well it works. A real life demonstration. Now, um, this is really important, guys, before we put the slides in, we wanna make sure we get all the dirt up because if you put your slides in with dirt on the floor, it can get into those rollers and we don't want that. So we vacuum the carpet, Izzy's favorite part of the coach, always vacuum the carpet and the floors before we go. Um, so if you want to get the dirt over here, um, just so you know, this vacuum is a Musu vacuum. It is so easy to use. Musu, um, M-O-O-S-O-O, -O -O, okay, this is the brand name. Really easy to use. It's super light, all right? It also has a detachable part. We don't have the, uh, the brush right here, but it's got a handheld part, all right? So there's different levels. You'll hear... So it's got two it's got a high and a low uh setting so we're gonna get that dirt it's gonna pick it up beautifully and that's got see how that, it works so so well and like i said it's we use this in our house too we actually we actually stopped using a regular vacuum in the house. We just use this. Uh, this is a great product. It's probably one of our favorite on here. Um, so really important to keep those floors clean, guys. Again, you got pets, easy uh, hair pickup. So in terms of cleaning the bedroom, so we have a carpet cleaner that we use occasionally on the carpet, but we, most of the time we use the vacuum. Um, we'll use the, uh, for the counters, we'll use the wipes. For the bed, now the dogs are not allowed on the bed, they're allowed on the bed in the house, but not here. And we try to keep them from, uh, from you know getting their hair all over the bed bowser the white one his little dopey he just can't sometimes can't contain himself and he'll hop up and we'll you know we'll get him off so we use these these are great obviously for your clothes but we use these on the blanket as well our comforter so this is the bowser hair remover all right they work great get any hair or dirt or anything off the uh the comforter and this way you have a nice clean comforter to sleep in so we hope you enjoyed this video. Now, again, guys, this is the way we clean. Again, those of you that know Izzy, he's very OCD with cleanliness and dirt. So we may go a little bit, I don't want to say overboard, but more than a lot of other people might. Share your ideas in the comments below. Tell us, do you do any of the things that we do? Is there anything we miss that you like to do as well? Because look, if there's anything- I doubt it. <laughs> if there's any <laughs> more cleaning tools or tips out there, he's going to want to know it. Yeah, and if you know anybody that's uh, maybe new to RVing and they like, they can't figure out how to keep the RV clean, or maybe you went into an RV and you were horrified, maybe you want to share this video with them, mm -hmm. right? And then also to the left of me, we're going to post our DIY videos as well as some RV walkthroughs. So for myself and MJ, we thank you guys for watching and we'll see, see you on, on the, the road. road.